Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc., the channel all about bringing you as much nerdy content as possible. Today for you, we're doing the dice event I saved up for the entire length. I got 30 out of 30 every single day for this event. 446 dice that we're about to throw down. Uh, I think I might have spent uh, one or two already, but it'll be okay. Uh, just trying to test things out. Um, I think we're going to be able to do it this time. We weren't able to get there last time, but that mythic dragon egg just looked too good not to uh, go all out for this time and try to get, all right? So, fingers crossed, it's going to happen, all right? Let's get into these rolls. As always, if you're new to the channel, please like the video and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. I'm always trying to do a new Dragon Village in video every single week. So if you uh, like this game, I definitely recommend subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All right, I'm always going to give you uh, newer and better tips for this game, so definitely worth sticking around. Also, if you want to check out my Patreon, I'll have a link in the description below. If you go and support me through there, you can get access to the Discord server where we talk about Dragon Village M and we're always putting out strategies and working together to solve different uh, problems that we have in the game. So if you need help or just want to chat about the game, definitely recommend checking that out. As well as um, you can get shout outs in my videos, get your name in it, all kinds of stuff. So pretty exciting things. All right, let's do this. Also, I want to point out that I didn't get the uh, the coin rolls every day because I guess because I have dice over here I can't like I'm clicking right now and nothing's happening so I guess I have to spend all these down before I can do the gold which was a real bummer because I was totally okay with like spending you know 500,000 gold a day on these rolls off camera just to get us some extra laps around before I did this event so that's kind of a shame but enough of that let's do this Alright, that's a good start. Although, bad land, but big rolls. Big money, big money! No? That's not what we do? This isn't Vegas? Alright. Man, 40 laps around. That's going to be a long ways. But we have 400, so... I feel like we could do that, right? That's, uh... It shouldn't take 40 dice per lap, you know? Or no, it's more than that, isn't it? Oh goodness, that's a lot of math. Ten dice, I think? Yeah, that sounds more right. Ten dice per uh, per lap. I think we could do it. With some with some extra leeway. So, uh, one of the other uh, patrons, they were able to do it, uh, get the Mythic Egg, I think like two days ago or so. So, we should be able to get there. If, if we don't, it's just my bad luck. Although we're having pretty good dice rolls right now, so. And more eggs for the egg hatching video, which I will be doing immediately after this video. So, lots of recording going on today. Lots of long record, uh, like recording going on. So, but I am just tired of waiting. I have so many legendary eggs. I think I've got like five. And then we're going to throw in the Mythic there as well on top of it. So. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, but next month is going to be even better. Because next month I'm going to have a uh, limited egg that we're going to throw into the mix. So, I've been saving and saving all my clan coins from this, uh, this limited dragon. Uh, hopefully we're going to get something amazing. It's going to kind of stink, though, because I'm going to be able to buy it. Oh, no, we crashed. All right, so we're back in it here. That took forever. I don't know what the deal was. It just locked down for, like, five minutes. I kept trying to restart the, uh, like, the whatever this is, uh, the client, and it just would not, like, boot back up. It just freeze, like, in the, uh, in the, like, the loading screen with, you know, the... Like God Dragon in the background and stuff. I think that's the God Dragon. It could be the other one. I forget. That light type you start out with. 
I, for, I forget the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, but yes, get, kept getting stuck in that loading screen and just would freeze up. Or just, I would click the uh, the game and it would just be a black screen just for like a solid like 30 seconds, which isn't. Normally, it, like, at least goes into the loading screen and then takes forever at the loading screen. Ooh, 300 damage. There we go. Those corner ones are always pretty nice. Ooh, more amethyst. Well, I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, amethyst, so what? I'm just gonna sit there and buy, like, a bunch of slimes and, and that's about it. And that's all it's gonna give me. It's gonna give me every amethyst around the whole board. But I do enjoy events like this because all the just the free stuff that the game gives you. Ooh, 300 diamonds. There we go. I do enjoy diamonds, that's for sure. <laughs> It's really hard to put out summoning videos when you don't get any. Which has been kind of the problem I've faced here recently is I've been spending a lot more diamonds than I have been saving. Which is why I'm only at 22,000 right now. And I think I've got to do like a summoning video here and like... Uh, I guess I do got time for the summoning one. It's a little bit of a break. It's at the end of the month or about the middle of the month really. So... Which is getting. I'm very late on the egg hatching this month. Sorry about that. But it's because I've been saving for this event. I've just been waiting for this event to end. So, ooh, 300 wings. There we go. But yeah, I've been saving up for this event. So, I've saved all my eggs because I'm going to get all these. Like, here's the, the heroic egg. I forget what this one here is, though. So. And then the uh, the mythic egg, of course. I mean, that thing is awesome. So, anytime you have a chance for a limited dragon, it's always a good feeling. So, and you know, free enhancement points, while it's not much, is pretty nice. So we'll definitely grab those. Yeah, I don't know why. It's only 10. Like, really? You couldn't... I, like, give us more, like, in the uh, in-betweens. Like, every, like, fifth time around. So, like, five... You could probably skip the tens. Like, give something better in the tens. But, like, five, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five. Give us enhancements. I think that would have been pretty nice. But then maybe they're like, oh, it, it's too small on the screen. We've got to shrink down all the icons too much. I could see a mobile game being a stickler like that. But yeah, it is nice getting free stuff again. I just felt like I've been kind of stagnant in this game. I haven't really gotten much lately. And I'm like, what, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I haven't been rolling all those dice for like a week now. So... Once, well, yeah, after I do this event, it's going to be crazy. I'm going to have so much stuff. So much free stuff. So many wings to use. Oh, goodness. Which is good that I'm doing the uh, the egg hatching right after this, because I have nothing in my inventory to level up, except for, like, one clown dragon that's for uh, combination fodder. So he's at, like, 48 out of 50. I, I have him... What else do I have? I have like a light pharaoh dragon that I'm just leveling up for my book so that way I can get the diamonds for making him an adult dragon. And that is literally it. That is the only two dragons I have to level up right now. So, and they're just like whatever sort of things. Nothing I'm really focusing on. I don't have enough dragons to turn into five stars right now to make a five star into a six star. So I'm not even pushing that whole aspect. Oh, goodness. And then after this, we'll go in and collect everything out of the inbox and see how much it is. I, other than wings, my inbox was pretty clear. So we'll see like a total of all the stuff. I'm really, really, really excited for that. It's a good feeling. Also, gold. I don't know what the deal is, but here lately, I have been burning through gold like nobody's business. 
So getting more of that will be good. I've been uh, re-runing a lot of my stuff. Uh, I've been doing the, the clan dungeon. Uh, not the clan dungeon. Uh, the rune dragon dungeon that's available through clans. That one. Uh, it's like 20 wings per attempt, right? Uh, it's not too terribly hard. Like, I can auto it. But it, when I when I auto it, like, the dragons end and... Like, when it, everything dies, they're at, like, 25% health. So I'm, like, cutting it close every single time. <laughs> but the guaranteed 5-star uh, and, uh, and up uh, runes is really nice. It's It kind of stinks that it's 20... Uh, 20 wings per attempt and you're just gonna get like a random between two sets so but you can narrow it down like I just need you know like these two or just this one so I can at least farm that and it's not like the uh, like nightmare dungeon where you're like okay I'm farming every single uh, rune type in the game it's just a guarantee for this slot with this it's kind of the opposite you can narrow down the uh, the rune type but not um, the slot that it goes into, so. But I'll take, I'll take it. It's, it's a little bit better because your percentages are guaranteed fives and with a chance of uh, six star runes. And the uh, the percentage on the six star runes is, I think it's the same. It's fifteen percent, which is the max difficulty percentage chance for. Uh, What's that other one? Ancient Ancient Ruins? So, which is, and this is easier than Ancient Ruins, I think so at least. Uh, I can do the the Rune Dungeon, the Clan Rune Dungeon, any any of the different battles and beat it, whereas Clan, or as uh, Ancient Ruins, I can only do like three or four difficulty reliably. So. And even then, it's only a 15% chance, the same as clan runes, but you have all these other percentages to get all these other runes. So, not worth it in my opinion, but that's me. The the good thing about the uh, the ancient runes, though, is that you get those other rune types, the ones I haven't really covered, because they're so, like, one, they're super difficult to, to farm, right? Uh, ancient runes, in general, is a more difficult type of... Uh, thing to farm so I haven't really bothered but there are some nice rune sets in Ancient Ruins the uh, I think it's Meditation where it's a rune set of 4 and every like I forget it's like every 12 seconds I think you get a free mana so on your support types that is awesome especially the ones that already give you free mana then it's like, oh, I just get even more free mana, and so I'm just always using skills left and right. And you're like spending more time waiting on your uh, timers than you are waiting on mana. So. I wouldn't mind to get a couple sets of those. But again, the farm is just so unreliable that it would take a while to get it, so. About a quarter of the way through these dice so far. Which is good because we're already at 15 times around, so we're almost halfway through that. So we're, we're on track to get the, the Mythic Egg. We're doing pretty good, so. Let's see, what else have I been up to in this game lately? Uh, yeah, just lots of lots of rune farming. I haven't been leveling up any dragons. I've got so many that are like six starred max level right now that I feel pretty comfortable with. I wouldn't mind six starring a lot of my ancient ruin or not ancient. I've got that on the brain now. Uh, the Tower of Tests. I wouldn't mind getting a lot of those dragons up to, to six stars. I did go in this morning though and look in my uh, my Earth team. Alright, sorry about that. What was I saying before the wife and a dog showed up? Um, I think it was my, my Earth Jet Dragon. 
uh, I was just going through and using my, my goal to level up all my runes on all my dragons, you know, getting them to 15 on the, the two, four, and six slots on everything, making sure those are done. Uh, and then I go through and make sure all of the, uh, the one, three, and five slots are at 12, just because you get those bonus substats. And then I come over to my Earth Jet Dragon, who was like the second six star I ever made. And I've had him forever in this game, and he's still sitting with a three star rune on his, I think it was his sixth slot. I was like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> you're just, uh, I've had you so long and you're still rocking a three star rune. Are you kidding me? So now I've jumped back into the clan rune dungeon thing and farming that to get the poor guy a better uh, six slot speed rune because he scales off speed. So just what in the world? Ugh. So that's what I've been doing mostly is lots of uh, lots of rune updates on a lot of my dragons so everyone's getting uh, five star runes when possible this poor guy I should just go farm him a four star and then a five star but he isn't being actively used by me right now in any content other than tower of tests so I can I can hold off and not worry about spending the energy in adventure mode to get a four star rune just to spend the energy again in clan dungeon and getting my a speeder from there, so it was just blew me away. Also, I uh, once once that's done, I'll go back to what I was doing before, which was um, so my one, three, and five slots. On uh, depending on the dragon, right now because gold is still tight, I can't just do get every rune in, on all my dragons up to fifteen. Right, that would. Again, that's my goal, don't get me wrong, that's what I want to do, but I have so many that it's either I focus on just the main ones, just the main dragons to do that with, like PvP ones, that sort of thing, stuff I use every single day for lots and lots of content. Um, but what I'm doing is, depending on the type, if it's a tank, I'm either uh, doing both HP and defense, uh, so on 3 and 5th slot, or if it's an attack type dragon, I'm just getting the uh, the first slot up to 15. So whatever the primary stat is that they use, so if it's a tank that scales off of HP, then I'll focus on the HP one first. Uh, but usually I'll go in and do the, uh, the other one that isn't the main uh, stat boost, just in case. So. Okay, and I'm back. Ooh. Oh, uh... Oh, I've heard the trash truck pull by, uh, like drive by, and it goes down to my cousin's house first, and uh, and then picks ours up on the way back. So I like sprint out the door and like carry like four loads of trash out. So we're still in the process of cleaning up because we live in uh, my grandparents' old house that I inherited, and we're still cleaning up. And we've lived here almost almost two years now. There's still trash, like just old junk and crap everywhere, and we're still like hauling it out every week. Uh, when we first got here, we like got a couple big dumpsters and filled them up with all kinds of stuff. And now it's just those dumpsters are really expensive, so it's just all right. Every week, with when the trash truck comes by, we'll put out a couple extra bags of random trash from the house like old old blankets that were like you know really gross from cats and stuff so I guess it meant a lot to them it does not mean a lot to us like handmade stuff we keep like there's a bunch of quilts that my great grandmother made like by hand just in her nursing home just like sewed and sewed and sewed like we've kept all those but just the other random stuff nope gotta go 300 amethyst. <sighs> and I'm really out of breath now. So. I go to the gym like at least two times a week, sometimes three. And been going for several months now. 
And then moments like this where I'm like running back and forth carrying trash bags, I'm like winded, and I'm like, what's the point of going to the gym? It's kind of like in uh, The Dark Knight where... Uh, Yeah, it's kind of like the uh, that moment in The Dark Knight where, no, that is Batman Begins, where the like beam falls on Bruce and Alfred is there like, what's the point of all those push-ups if you can't lift one log? It's kind of what it's like. It's like, why do I go to the gym so much? And then I like make three trips outside carrying a couple of trash bags and I'm out of breath. Yeah, that uh, that egg hatching video is next. What is that gonna entail? Like, let's see. What do I need? I would like another dark AOE attacker. Like, um, I can't remember if Hades comes in dark or not. I don't think so. I think it's the uh, the dark Zephyros. That would be nice because uh, the AOE attacker I have now is uh, Volt. Which one Volt is used for a combination, so already he's going to like disappear at some point. I will use him to uh, make my combination, and then I'll have to replace him with another AoE attacker. Also, he just does not hit well at all. He is a very weak AoE attacker. Like I've got some solid runes on this guy, and he does like nothing. It's ridiculous. My power dragon, my tank does more damage than he does so that's got to go I've got the uh, the dark clown dragon which is pretty cool but again that's just a single target attacker and uh, and then I've got ooh, 300 diamonds there we go Let's see who else do I have all right so yeah we're like a little more than halfway and more than 20 times around 28 times around okay yeah we'll definitely finish get that mythic egg this time um, yeah, Dark Wonder Dragon, so he's pretty nice to have. And then, who's the healer I have? Oh, yeah, uh, Venezi, right? So I have him. He's a bomb healer. And uh, also, so he also takes the place of one of my tanks. So him and Power Dragon, those guys are rocking it. And that and the Wonder Dragon, psh, it doesn't even matter what my other two... Uh, teammates are although it would be nice if they were a little better because I still do fail in Tower of Tests a lot but if I think if I had another AoE attacker that was just better because Wonder Dragon he doesn't get good until he's in zombie state when he's out of health because that's when he gets all of his bonuses so at the beginning of the like the first couple rounds yeah he's not doing anything until like my team is about to wipe so, and then he starts doing well. But I would like to get a little farther than that before I have to rely on such a thing. Here we go, here comes the 30. That's so many wings. Definitely gonna be farming like mad. After after these two videos are done, more amethyst. All right. Although with all these amethysts, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of slimes and then just power level like crazy, or just get a bunch of slimes. <laughs> Man, these videos always take so long. And 300 wings. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have so much stuff. So the 30 is done. So just another 10. And we're like, oh goodness, barely past the halfway point in, in dice. So might have definitely overkilled it this time. Compared to last time, which was like super close. And I like, I think I failed by two. I got 38 out of the 40. I was so upset. But I really slacked off last time, and I was like, not this time, I'm gonna, gonna do it, gonna focus hard. Although I have so many eggs this time that it, it might be a little overkill for the egg hatching video with five legendaries and a mythic. 
might even be six legendaries, I can't remember. But I didn't have many of the other other stuff like I did I've done before. Like I've had a lot of uh what are they? The enchanted in I think I think they're enchanted eggs. The red ones, right? So I don't really have many of those this time. I don't yeah, I don't have a lot of other stuff, like the uh like the mid level eggs. I don't have a lot of those, so Oh god, don't let me start singing now. Well, put me on American Idol. I'll be, uh, you know, they always balance out those shows. There's like the, they'll have like two good singers and then a really bad one. Yeah. I'd, that'd be me on that segment. What else? What else is there to talk about? One of the same problem. I'm going to use up all my talking in this video, and then the egg hatching video is going to come around. I'm going to have nothing to talk about. Um, oh, so in preparation, I think for the uh, the limited dragon egg in the in next month's egg hatching video, uh, all my dragon reviews this month will be over limited dragons. I know they're a lot less commonly used, so. It, that might hurt me a little bit because they're not very common. So I don't know if you know a lot of players will really want to watch those. I mean, I would want to watch them just to see what the best dragons in the game what they're what they're capable of. But at the same time, people aren't going to be you know searching up guides on how to ruin their limited Veros or anything like that when he's super like uncommon. So. But I think I want to do it personally for myself, more so so I can really like judge the different mythic or the different uh, limited ones, just so I can really get my hopes up for for which ones which. Also, hopefully it'll help me keep straight which ones Magnus and which ones Monus. This is a little ridiculous. Monus is the healer, right? And uh, Magnus is uh, DPS, maybe support. He's like the little cat one. Well, I guess there's a couple different cat ones, right? In this game, like Arcana is a little cat one. Uh, Mini Dragon kind of got a little bit of a cat look to it. Magnus looks like a cat. I mean, you can literally build an entire cat-based dragon team in this game. It's a little ridiculous. Where's my dogs at? You know. Yo, dog. Yay, more diamonds. So yeah, this, this will definitely help in my uh, issue of getting 30,000 diamonds this month. Also, I'm waiting for a good uh, rate up dragon. Because <laughs> the one I got, or the one that's up right now, I ended up getting the very first night it came out on accident. I just I went in and do my daily when right when daily reset, I immediately pulled him. I just did one single summon, 300 diamonds, in the rate up and pulled the rate up dragon. I'm like, okay, very first night he was out. So I think he's like a brand new dragon too. He's he's a lot like power dragon. So he like creates the little bubble around the other guys and takes the damage for them. Which I like, so whenever it comes to stuff um, where I need two teams at once, he's once he's up there, I don't know, so far he's been kind of lackluster. Might be just because he needs to be turned into a six star and he's getting outshined by other six stars. But uh, he should be pretty cool whenever we finally get to get to use him. Oh, I didn't even realize that we're on the, the last lap. I have to get that mythic. I have so many extra dice to go through too. I'm like trying not to like waste time either. I'm just like burning through them. There we go. Boom, mythic egg. Let's go ahead and grab these so I don't forget. Nice. Nice. 
So how many do we have left? We had like 95 or so dice left. So yeah, definitely overkilled at this time. Uh, but I think I did have higher average than what they are, uh, what they're saying here, because right, so 30 dice will get you 3.28 times around. So with uh, 300 diamonds, then you should be able to get uh, 30 times around, right? I think that's right. Yeah. So. I'm doing that wrong. Ten times? No. Bad math here. So 10 days, so 30, yeah, so 30. Sorry, I had to really, like, go over that in my head. It's it's a little more than 30, right? It's like 36 times around in 10 days. So, it probably 350 probably would have got us there, which, which is about right for uh, what my, uh, my Patreon buddy was saying. Is that because he got his a few days ago, so he would have gotten his somewhere in the the upper 300s, his 40 laps. So I went over by a couple days, probably uh, I think it was a little above average there. So I probably I could have got mine like a day before him, I think. Also, I think he was doing the gold. Maybe he was having really bad luck because I think he was also getting the free five times a day gold spin. So. I don't know, my luck's been pretty good here lately, so. Uh, I'm gonna see PvP reset this week, and I did my uh, 20 battles. Uh, I did 10 that night, or 10 that morning, and then 10 more that night, and then I got my little token for the, uh, like the little ball game where you like put the coin in and it drops you out a free item. And I got a, uh, a legendary egg out of that, so. I was like, sweet, that's just more. Uh, fuel for the fire there for this egg hatching video. I feel like I got another one somewhere else too. It was just ridiculous luck this week. So hopefully it's gonna like stick with us and we're gonna be able to get some really cool pulls. If I got a limited dragon out of that mythic egg, I am going to freak. But we have to get through all these dice before we can get there. <laughs> Goodness. Which I still haven't figured out. I got 446 dice. And I swear I got 30 out of 30 every single day. I I think I know what it was. I don't think I got them all the very first night. Um, I think the event came out uh, in like late, late afternoon. And then reset came. So if you were able to get it, uh, to get yours in that day early... So I think, I, yeah, that's what it was. You can get a total of 460 if you did every single one of them every single day. But that first day was only like four, three or four hours. And I didn't realize the event had already uh, come out a couple hours early. So I only got 16 out of the 30 that first day because it was so short. So that's what it was. I was like, I know I got 30 out of 30 every single day. I made sure of it. Yeah, except for that first day because I was literally in the process of trying to get it. And I think there was, a, there might have even been a patch and like the servers went down for several hours and they never came back up so I couldn't get those last little bit. I had forgotten about that. That's what happened. So 446 out of 460. That's a lot of dice. As we can tell, because this has taken forever. I mean, at this point, you might as well just skip to the end whenever I collect everything. <laughs> just to see what all I get. Like, the total numbers of everything. It's going to be pretty staggering. Like, 
It's gonna be ridiculous. more diamonds. There we go. Let's keep that going. Let's see, what else can I use right now? Uh, I'd like enough amethyst to get two, like, ten summons of uh, slimes. It's like two, two thousand and one hundred. Uh, for like a 10 pack of slimes and then you can just go in and like hatch 10 at once to save time because I'm very impatient off camera I'm impatient but on camera it's like nope we're doing each egg one at a time clicking the hatches so I need what 4,000 and 200 oh I've definitely got that I've gotten so many of these 300s in all these I forget if I'm not actually adding them as I go, so. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. More amethyst. There we go. I don't have a lot. It's gonna be good. Alright, here we go. Final spin for a measly 2,500. All right, so let's jump over here. Let's do the final tallies in the inbox. All right, get all here. Wow, 5,500 amethyst. And I was over here just talking like, oh, I could use like, you know, 400 amethyst or something. 5,500. Uh, only 400,000 gold. I honestly expected more. Um, that's, a, that's a surprisingly low amount. That's a good amount of diamonds though, almost 5,000. So, pretty cool. I did... No, that sounds about right. Yeah. I got a lot of amethyst, though. It was like... A, I kept hitting that 300 amethyst. But that's a hefty amount of diamonds. So, confirm that. So, that's going to take me almost to enough for the uh, 30,000 that I need for um, uh, the rate up summon. For whatever rate up summon we're going to get next get all these so I got the mythical there uh, 17 mid tier just regular only oh that's way too far oh don't use mouse wheel okay uh, 14 24 eh, very, cool. very very diverse here these are all the guarantees uh, 18 high tier only six mysterious eggs huh could have could have used more of those at least uh, lots of the slimes here. Oh yeah, I was hitting those slimes pretty good. Uh, heroic. That's yeah, that was a guaranteed. Uh, more slimes, more enhancements. Man, I wish enhancements had been like one of the corner slots. Ooh, that would have been so good. And then more guaranteed. So yeah, these were a little, a little lackluster. Didn't really get much, which. Is okay because I'd much rather get the game money section over there with like the amethyst and diamonds and stuff that are way more useful to me. Uh, I do wish I could have got more mysterious eggs. That's a little surprising that the number is so low. So, considering the number of slimes we got, right? We got almost double that in slimes uh, for each element. So, oh well. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna wrap us up here for uh, the dice event. Very beneficial if you're not guaranteeing yourself getting the 30 out of 30 every day you're doing it wrong especially if you're at this point in the video and you just saw what I was able to pull like all those diamonds all those amethysts now I'm definitely not saying store them up and do them all at the very last day because then you're gonna sit here for you know an hour as this goes by uh, just spit rolling dice rolling dice rolling dice so do them as you get them for sure but make sure you're doing them like it's definitely well worth it the amount of stuff that you get and a mythical egg at the end so uh, definitely some good stuff there but at this point so I'm gonna jump off of this video and then roll over into the uh, February 2019 egg hatching all right so it's gonna be awesome uh, I'll go ahead and roll over here and show you what we've got so one two three four five legendaries and one mythical only two Eternals. Eternal, that was the one I was looking for. Bunch of ancient eggs. Bunch of ancient eggs. What is that one? Miracle egg. Okay. 
Okay. So it's a guaranteed four star, and it has a chance of being one of the very, very few limited four star dragons. Bunch of, oh, not a bunch, a couple heroics, and then, yeah, just everything else here in between. Got some mysterious eggs to work through. Gonna be nice. Alright, so definitely go check that out after this. If you like this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, definitely gonna be more videos like this in the future. It's a lot of fun uh, just talking about the game and, and as I get free stuff, so always, always nice. Alright, but with that, we'll see you next time.